Welcome to Retail Management Hero Point of Sale System, also known as POS. POS is extremely easy to use, but at the same time it provides a lot of powerful features for managing your store's customers and transactions. In this video, I will introduce you to how to look up, edit, and add customers in POS. Looking up customers in POS is something you will do many times throughout the day. There are many reasons why you will look up customers in POS. For example, if your store has a loyalty program, you will need to look up customers for transactions so they can earn reward points on their purchases. You may also need to look up customers if your store uses work orders to fulfill customer purchases, to create a quote for a specific customer, or if your store provides store credit or layaway to qualifying customers. POS can be configured to display the customer lookup screen before every transaction. You can also display the customer lookup screen at any time by tapping Customers and Look Up Customer. The most common way to look up customers is by entering their first or last name into the lookup field. Let's look up Sal Starling by entering his first name, Sal. You can select Sal by tapping his name twice or by tapping his name once and then tapping Select. Sal's information displays in the Customer pane at the top of the POS screen. If you have finished looking up a customer, you can exit their customer record by tapping Customers and Clear Customer. You can enter partial names if you are unsure of how to spell a name. For example, Bobby Jo is buying some items at the store, but you're not sure how to spell her name. You could look up Bobby Jo by entering either Bob, B-O-B, or Jo, J-O. Again, you select Bobby Jo by tapping her name twice or by tapping her name once and then tapping Select. Bobby Joe's information displays in the Customer pane at the top of the POS screen. You can also look up customers by account number, phone number, email address, address, or company name. Let's look up Jim Junko. He runs a local bird sanctuary and has store credit at Bird Store because he buys all of his bird feed at the store. He tells you his customer number, 19, so you use that to look him up in POS. Let's look up Robbie Robin. He collects bird store bucks and wants to make sure he earns points on today's purchase. He tells you his phone number, 888-234-5678. If you are entering a phone number, make sure you follow the store's standards for phone numbers. For example, if the store's standard is to use dashes in phone numbers, you must enter the phone number with dashes. If you enter the phone number without dashes, POS will not recognize the phone number. Similarly, if the store's standard is to not use dashes and you enter the phone number with dashes, POS will not recognize the phone number. Practice looking up customers by name, account number, phone number, email address, address, or company name. You'll be an expert in no time. Now, let's look at editing and adding customers to POS. Depending on your user permissions, you may not be able to edit customers in POS. Similarly, depending on your store's policies, you may not be able to add customers in POS. Ask your training supervisor or manager whether you can edit or add customers in POS. Robbie Robin asks if you can change his phone number in the system. He got a new phone recently, and his phone number changed. The first step to editing a customer is to look them up. You've already done that. The next step is to tap Customers and then tap Edit Customer to open the customer screen. You enter Robbie's new phone number and then tap Save to save the changes. If you have finished editing a customer, you can exit their customer record by tapping Customers and Clear Customer. It's just as easy to add a new customer. Pat Pigeon just joined the Bird Sanctuary run by Jim Junko. Adding Pat as a customer is really easy. Just tap Customers and New Customer to open the Create New Customer wizard. Enter whatever information the store requires for customers. Bird Store only requires first name and last name. 
As you can see, required fields are identified with asterisks. Other stores may require more information for customers, such as email address, phone number, or address. Ask your training supervisor or manager about your store's requirements for customer information. Pat gives you his email address and phone number, so you enter that information as well. If your store delivers products to customers by mail or truck, you will need to enter the delivery address on the shipping tab. To add a shipping address, tap New. You have the option to use the same address as the billing address or to enter a different address. The shipping address is usually the same as the billing address, but sometimes it isn't. And that's it. As you've seen, it's really easy to look up, edit, and add customers in POS. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of POS.